Hi everybody, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we're going batty. We've got a great dish we want you to see. Today we are making what my daughter calls PBS, which is not the public broadcast system. It is actually pasta, broccoli, and sausage. Um, we're going to brown some sausage, and you can use whatever kind of sausage you want. Uh, we're just using regular breakfast sausage because I got it on sale. And everything is better with sausage. Everything is better with sausage. But you can use like Italian sausage if you wanted. That's really easy. How much sausage, my love? That is two pounds of sausage. Now we're making this for seven people. Um, I've actually made it with just one pound of sausage before, but um, the sausage tends to be everybody's favorite part. <laughs> so. I'm All right, so we're going to cut up a couple of onions. Um, these are pretty good size onions. These are almost the size of a softball. Um, I'm just gonna cut it in half. Let's cut it into slices like this. And I leave the nub of the onion on because that gives me something to hold on to so I don't cut my fingers. Now, didn't one other recipe say that you could use shallots? You can use shallots, and actually we started with shallots, but shallots are so expensive, and I had to buy like 20 shallots to cut up in order to feed our family. So we went to onions instead. Onions are a lot less expensive, so um, that worked much better for us. All right, so now we're going to add some olive oil to this pan. Just a smidge. So, well, yeah, enough to kind of coat the bottom of it the drizzling. like that. Um, and then um, you're going to put your onions in your olive oil. And I had a red onion for a salad that was cut up, and we had a little left, so I just threw that in here with this. It adds to the fun. And I threw them all over the place. I'm a messy cook. I even got it all the way back here. Of course. Um, but the one thing I forgot to, oops, to tell you is that um, I did put a pot of water on the boil to start with. So I have that here. It's not quite boiling yet, but um, when I do pasta water, I put salt in my pasta water to help give it some flavor. Because um, if not, then you just kind of have bland pasta. So I put, it's almost a good handful of salt because you don't eat the pasta water, it just flavors the pasta. So you're going to stir this around and you're going to let this go until these are caramelized and brown and yummy and you know all that kind of goodness. Do you add any seasoning to the onions? Um, you will. I'm going to let them sweat down a little bit and I'm going to put the garlic in with it. Thanks Kate. You welcome. Actually I think I'm going to put six cloves of garlic in it. <gasps> There's a lot of garlic. I love garlic. <laughs> Makes her super stinky. <laughs> that little, gadget. There's a little creepy it's a, thing. It's a garlic press. Mm. This is like a little scrapey oh, thing right. we used to scrape off the garlic. We, uh, we have typically during the summer all the ingredients we need and it comes straight from our mm. garden. So we, uh, we enjoy this uh, typically with fresh onions straight from our garden, fresh broccoli straight from our garden, Straight pork, straight from our garden. No, no, no we, sorry. We not, don't grow our own uh, our own pigs. We're not planning a pork tree this year. Not yet. <laughs> stay tuned. All right, all right. I have the six cloves of garlic in here, and I'm going to stir it up. Um, mm -hmm. I don't put the garlic in first because sometimes the garlic can burn on the bottom of the pan. So I always put the garlic in after I put. The, don't put that back in the pan. I won't. Um, after I put the onions. And like they go in last. And so now I'm going to put some salt because that helps pull the liquid out of the, the onions and garlic. It helps them brown easier. And then I'm going to put a whole lot of pepper in it. With the pepper scuffer. Really, it's a dance move. And then we're just going to let that go until it gets cooks down and they're all kind of caramelized and brown and looking all yummy. We have a block of Parmesan cheese and I'm going to grate it up and we got the old fancy salad shooter from from yon years past 
I don't know, this thing's probably like 15 years old. I don't know. going to chop up actually this parsley and we're going to use a lot of it because this is one of those things that just kind of make this this the finishing touch on the dish that is just super yummy um, I take it and I actually like wad it into a ball and then kind of twist it like this and that kind of helps hold it together so now it's kind of twisted into like almost like a cigar shape and then I chop it like that I'm going to try not to cut my fingers off. Details, 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 details. Chopped a little bit, but there's still some bigger pieces and just kind of run your knife through it. And just roughly chop it. It doesn't have to be super fine. So our um, sausage is almost done here. It's, oops, ah, threw it out of the pan again. <laughs> it's almost all brown. And our onions here are starting to caramelize and get brown. Yeah, you got that fond on the bottom of the pan, that brown stuff. And that's like super yummy. Sausage. And then get some of that grease off of there. I'm not going to drain it a real long time because you want a little bit of that grease because that's going to give it a little bit of flavor. We're putting our broccoli in with our sausage. And we're going to put a little bit of water in this to help steam the, the broccoli. You put a lid on it or anything? We do, but we don't have a lid big enough for this pan, so we use a pizza pan. Awesome. And we just throw the pizza pan on top of it. Okay. But we're going to mix it up, get everything mixed in. Again, you do things a little differently when you're cooking for six, seven people. Yeah. And this sometimes... Is, if this was a meal for just your family of three or four, then you'd make smaller... You'd use one pound of sausage, one bag of broccoli. It'd be a smaller pan, yeah. the whole thing. A but smaller we're, pan, yeah. We're feeding the army, so we got to make it big. And the other thing that I do is that I put just a little bit of this grease back into here to flavor the sausage a little bit. I mean, you're talking like maybe like... Like a tablespoon, a a teaspoon, smidge. a smidge. A smidge. So not a lot, but that helps give it a little, the broccoli, a little more flavor. The next step we're going to do, because our time is almost done, and I cook these for about eight minutes, um, seven and a half, eight minutes, we're going to drain the pasta off, get most of the water off. All right, so now our next move is, is you're going to make your, this sauce is super simple. You're going to take pasta water, and I had to dump out... The, I needed the pan that the pasta was cooked in because I needed something bigger. So I'm doing about three, three mugs of water. And the reason that I use that is because that water is kind of starchy. I um, turned the burner down to low on this. You don't want it up super high or your stuff will stick to it. And now we're going to put the Parmesan cheese in it. And I'm going to use all of that, that wedge of Parmesan cheese that I had. And 
Oh, it's so good. We're going to we're going to mix it up. Now, I leave some more pasta water just because you might need to thin it out a little bit. I got all the cheese mixed in, and if you look, it like sucked up all the juice. So you can't see any more juice down in there. So I'm going to put some more of this. This pot actually I'm probably going to put most of this pasta water back in there. You so, want a little more sauce continue. Yeah, you want some more sauce. And because it is the pasta water and it is starchy because of those noodles, it actually makes a thicker sauce to it. Looks good. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little more pepper in it because it looks like it needs a little more pepper. Is this the thing we add the parsley to? Yeah, that's what we're going to And we're going to check our broccoli here. And our broccoli is in. So this is done. So the art to this is that you need to get it all done at one time. So this is done. We're going to pull this off the stove, off the burner. And then our last ingredient is we are going to add the parsley to this. We're going to shut everything off because nothing needs to cook anymore. It'll keep cooking even off the heat. Yeah. So you don't want it to overcook. Yeah. You don't want your broccoli squishy or anything like that. Or your, so. or your stuff burnt. Yeah. All right. So here's the finished product. You can either uh, have the broccoli and the sausage on the side, or you can have it right on top. We like it both ways. Guys, enjoy this. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. Please like, subscribe, or comment. And have a great day. More updates as we go.